We moved to Bend in 2016 primarily because it was a place that we loved to visit and we had found this piece of property, this land, this half acre uh, of dirt and we bought the dirt and we said let's move to Bend and build a home on it. And so we did that in spring of 2016 and started designing this home in uh, fall of 2016, started building in 2017 and moved in um, in winter of 2017. This area was literally made from fire or born in fire, of course, from volcanoes, you know, thousands of years ago. But in 1990, um, this area was cleared by the Aubrey Hall fire, which burned about 3,500 acres in a couple of hours. So the fire just ripped through the area quickly. And uh, we're right on the edge of the fire zone, meaning that everything behind us, or I should say in front of the house, has been cleared by fire. Behind us, literally 50 feet behind us is the Deschutes National Forest. And as you can see, a lot of trees back there. Um, so many that the Forest Service actually does prescriptive burning right down to the property line, which is the National Forest. Um, so fire danger was absolutely something that we had to design for in building this home. And many of the materials that we selected were because of that fire danger. You can see on the home that it's uh, a lot of stucco. And that was, you know, to you know, in case there was a fire, prevent sparks from hitting the side of the, the wood on the house and uh, starting a fire. But we were looking at initially at a composite roof. And while it wasn't, you know, we felt it was fire safe enough, um, our builder and architect thought because of our goal with fire danger, but also because of the architectural components of the house, all the hips and valleys and how beautiful that was, that a metal roof would really set that off. So our builder took us to look at a home with a metal roof and we were sold right away from the aesthetic perspective, but also it met the goals around fire safety. This metal roof um, ha has been incredible in the winters because we've had issues in Bend and you can see now every winter roofers are advertising, we'll come clear the snow off your roof um, and pay a lot of money to have that snow cleared off the roof in the winter because about five years ago during a heavy snowfall, there were some roofs that had either ice dams from the gutter or some that even fell in on some of the large commercial buildings. So it, it, it's a major issue now. With the metal roof here, um, no issue because the snow just comes right off. Um, so much so in fact, that in some areas where we didn't want it to slide off, like in front of the front door, we put snow brakes on it, or I should call it little metal bars, horizontal metal bars that help the snow from uh, sliding right off when someone's walking out. So it's, it's performed great in every winter that we've had here in Bend. I never really actually knew what we were getting into with the metal roof. And quite honestly, I was surprised by how little we've had to do and how easy it was to maintain. I thought I would be up there with a, uh, you know, a broom, you know, a push broom and soap and water and cleaning the roof off. But uh, what we have found with all the dust here in Central Oregon and the building close to us, uh, a lot of dust gets created, pollen in the summertime. With the dust, uh, especially in the fall, winter, spring, when there's rains, it just naturally gets cleaned off in the rain and sparkling clean after every rainstorm. In the summer, when there's not so much rain, um, you know, we get a lot of yellow pollen from the beautiful ponderosa trees. Um, I just go out with a garden hose and spray it off, and you know, 20, 30 minutes later, we have a sparkling clean roof again. And you know, I do that probably once a year, 20, 30 minutes, and done. The aesthetics of the home were really important when we were designing this home. One, because of the community it's in, there's some really striking homes in this community. And my wife is an interior designer, uh, and so she has that designer's eye and is always looking for things that look right. Uh, and of course, I like a good looking home too. So we, we were designing, of course, for aesthetics in terms of the shape and feel and everything about the home, but I never really thought the roof would add or detract from it. I just always felt the roof was neutral. I'll have to say now, after having this metal roof on it, uh, it's one of my favorite features. I come down the road and you have a really good view of the house and the roof is something, it just pops with the metal roof on it. Uh, I, I could not imagine it with any other material on the roof. Initially, a metal roof was not in our consideration at all. Um, we didn't think it added or detracted from the value of a home, the aesthetics of a home, or anything about it. Um, we're now building another home in the area. We had so much fun building this one. We said, let's do it again. And so we're building a new home about a half mile away from here. And one of the first things that we said to the architect and builder was metal roof, non-negotiable. We're putting a metal roof on it. So we're really sold on a metal roof and friends who are building a home in Ben right now, we actually sell them on it too. You know, not just from the aesthetics, 
but fire safety, of course, in the area, energy efficiency, the longevity, it just really adds to the value of a home in a way that I never really factored in before. So overall, we're huge fans of what we've done here with the metal roof. And I tell our builder that first introduced us to it, uh, thank you every time I see him.